There's nothing we would change in our forecast procedures. Uh, uh, in general, the prevailing thought is the hurricane will have much more effect on the oil rather than vice versa. Uh, there'll be plenty of data gathered on this. It's never happened before, so there's, there's no experiential data to fall back on to say yes or no. The primary problem will be if we have a landfalling hurricane uh, pass to the west, that gives the southeast and south winds moving that current right on shore with the storm surge. Uh, but what people tend to forget in this debate is that uh, when we have a big storm surge like we had with Katrina or Rita or Ike, it's overtopping cisterns, it's overtopping all the chemicals in one's house, the business, uh, septic systems are exposed, in some cases even uh, uh, sewage treatment plants. You have all kinds of toxic material, which is why your local officials don't want people rushing back in uh, until they've had a chance to assess the problem. Uh, sure, the oil will be taken in there, but it's going to become part of the ecological catastrophe that you get anyway with a hurricane added on to it. For years, that's one of the theories on, on ways to mitigate it was if you come up some benign oil that would affect the evaporation and plaster that all under where the storm's going to develop. In theory, you could reduce uh, the evaporation in there. Uh, and I think it's a matter of scale, the size of of the oil covered surface of the ocean and the Gulf doesn't at least appear to me what I've seen to be anywhere close to the size of the area where a storm would form. Now maybe a, a, a little incipient storm trying to form like Umberto a few years ago if it was right over where the oil is, uh, perhaps, and hopefully we'll get data if that's the case so we can learn from it.